Most professional footballers love playing football, but many of them still have hobbies outside of football. Some are regular hobbies like singing for Memphis or video gaming for Aguero. But, well, there are quite some footballers with some rather unusual hobbies, and we'll be checking out 10 of them in this video today. Let's get right to it. Number 1. Foden Fishing Phil Foden loves fishing, so much so that he missed Manchester City's Premier League title celebrations in 2018 because he had a fishing trip planned with his dad. Now, here's the thing, if Foden was born in maybe the 70s or 80s when there was no video games and all fun activities to be had outdoors, this would have been understandable. But the lad was born in the 2000s, in the 21st century. So this means that while his friends were playing mobile and video games, Phil was busy fishing very unusual. And even his teammates agree with us. When Foden told them of his hobby, many said, what a weird sport to enjoy. Number 2. Pirlo Wine Tasting Pirlo always had an air of mystery about him, from when he was active as a footballer up till now that he's a manager. And it's quite fitting that the one thing he really loves doing outside football is something pretty unusual. The Italian boss loves wine tasting. And honestly, that makes sense considering that his grandmother owned a vineyard. And guess what? His last name, Pirlo, is also the name of a traditional wine in Italy. Andrea doesn't just drink wine. He said he likes to do more than that. He once said, I like to read about wine to understand it, to try wines from other regions, other labels. The man really does have a passion for wine, doesn't he? Number 3. Walcott authoring. Apart from playing football, Theo Walcott loves writing. Writing is a pretty common hobby, but what makes Walcott's type of writing unique is that he loves authoring children's books. Of course, that is a very sweet and adorable hobby to have, but you have to admit that it's pretty unusual. The Southampton Forward has since published four children's books, all of which are based on a fictional footballer character named TJ. TJ and the Hat Trick, TJ and the Penalty, TJ and the Winning Goal, and TJ and the Cup Run are the four children's books Walcott has since authored and published. The 32-year-old has also published an autobiography titled Theo, Growing Up Fast. Surely, the former England international is a big fan of books. Number 4. Ryan Giggs – Yoga People are always coming up and saying, how are you still playing at 37? How are you still playing for United? And I say that one of the main reasons is yoga, keeping me as strong and flexible as possible. Those were the words Giggs said to an interviewer about a decade ago, and well, it tells you pretty much everything. The Wales head coach never played with yoga. He strongly believed that that was the secret to him being able to play at a top level until he was 40. The former Man United man was so passionate about yoga that he, along with his yoga trainer, Sarah Ramsden, released a yoga training DVD titled Gigs Fitness. Number 5. Kai Havertz – Tending to Donkeys Mentioning donkeys, it's easy for your mind to quickly drift to donkey riding, but no, that's not what the Chelsea forward is really passionate about. He loves tending to donkeys, taking care of them. He once said in an interview that his favourite animal since he was a kid has always been the donkey, and that now, with his wealth and the resources at his disposal, he wants to help donkeys and save them from the circus, the butcher, and things like that. He said, Of course, football is one of the most important things in my life, but to be honest, there are many more important things in life than football, and animals are very important to the world, and I want them to have a better life. And looking at how happy he always is when he's around donkeys, you can tell that this is something he's truly passionate about. By the way, the German youngster also loves playing the piano, but surely that's not half as unusual as enjoying being with donkeys and being willing to do anything for them to have a better life. Number 6. Check drumming. The Chelsea goalkeeping legend Petr Cech really does enjoy drumming in his free time. In fact, if you head to his YouTube channel, you'll see videos of him doing drum covers of songs. And he's been doing this for close to a decade now. Chelsea's technical and performance advisor strongly believes that drumming made him a better goalkeeper. And he was inspired to get into drumming after he played Rock Band, a PlayStation game with Carlo Cudicini, who is a former Chelsea goalkeeper. Prior to this, Cech didn't know 
how to play any musical instrument. Hell, he had little to no music history, but he played rock band and just straight up picked up the sticks. Well, you know how good he is between the sticks. Now, what do you think of him with the sticks in his hands? Number 7. Axel Tuanzebe Tuanzebe may not have broken any record in football, but when it comes to the game of hungry hippos, the man is a Guinness world record holder. And no, we're not joking. Hungry Hippos is a pretty fun game. To win, you have to feed your hippo marbles faster than the opponents. And well, not only was he faster than his opponents, on that day, Tuanzebe became the fastest in history. He cleared an entire game in just 17.36 seconds. With that kind of performance, you need no one to tell you that this is something the new Napoli recruit enjoys doing, because surely he had been practicing long before that and waiting for the day to unleash his hidden talent to the world. Number 8. Balotelli Fireworks if you were to guess one footballer who had a dangerous and potentially destructive hobby, who would it be and why would it be Mario Balotelli? It's still early in the year, which means that just a couple of weeks back, you most probably heard and saw a lot of fireworks. Well, that surely would have brought a lot of unpleasant memories to Balotelli, because the thing he really loved doing cost him a truckload of money some years back. The Italian striker does love shooting fireworks into the sky, but on one fateful day in 2011, the fireworks were not shot into the sky, but were lit in the former Man City forward's bathroom. Of course, it caused a fire. The towels in the bathroom caught fire and it spread pretty quickly. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the fire on the 22nd of October 2011. Oh, how do we remember the exact date? Well, because the very next day after shooting fireworks in the bathroom, Super Mario went and did his favourite type of shooting on the pitch for Manchester City against Manchester United. It was there in that 6-1 derby victory that he did that iconic Why Always Me celebration. Number 9. Edinson Cavani Ballet Sincerely, if we asked you to guess which Premier League player goes for ballet classes and enjoys doing the dance, would you really have guessed El Matador? Probably not. But believe it or not, the Uruguayan really does enjoy ballet, and he said it's helped him so much with his strength, stamina and mobility. Cavani started ballet classes in Uruguay just after he was released by PSG, and he's not stopped since then, even after moving to England. Number 10. Bale Golf Bale's love for golf is no secret at all. His love for the sport became very popular during his time under Zinedine Zidane at Real Madrid. The Frenchman didn't fancy him so much and often left him out of the lineup, so it appeared that Bale decided to keep himself busy with something else. He found golf and he got to love it so much that the only thing he was going to put ahead of the sport was his country, Wales. For the Welsh captain, it was even golf before Real Madrid, a club which still pays his huge wages, and also where he's enjoyed the most success in his career. Well, guess at the end of the day, the heart loves what the heart loves no matter how unusual, doesn't it? Which of these was your favourite unusual hobby? And if your favourite didn't make the list, let us know what it is in the comments. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye!